Alright, so in this video we're going to learn how to use the reduction formula. Uh, this will be, I'll have four different examples. Uh, it, the, the difference in the different examples is the, the alpha. It'll be in different quadrants in each video. I'll do, I'll have a video where alpha's in the first quadrant, another one that's in the second and another one third, another one fourth. So you can check them all out. So what we're doing is we're, we have uh, sine x plus cosine x, and we have a coefficient for each one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it as a single sine function. Uh, instead of having two trig functions added together, it's just going to be a single one. So if alpha is an angle in standard position whose terminal side contains AB, then A sine x plus B cosine x is equal to, and this is going to be the square root of A squared plus B squared times sine of x plus alpha for any real number x. <coughs> so, so we know how to get this number here in front of sine. x is just going to be x, and then we've got a figure out how to find alpha. Now, you know, depending on what textbook you're using, you know, or how your teacher tells you to do it, there's different ways to find alpha. There's there's also you've got sine alpha is equal to b over the square root of a squared plus b squared, and you've got cosine alpha is equal to a over a squared plus b squared. Okay, you can use either one to find alpha. I just always like to use tangent alpha as b over a. And, and look, all this is look if you have an angle here, and it doesn't matter what quadrant it's in, and say it contains the terminal side contains the point a b. Uh, so we know this is a this is B, okay, and look, this side here, this side here is the square root of A squared plus B squared, see, Pythagorean theorem, and if this is theta, I mean, look, that's where these come from, okay, so if we call this A squared plus B squared, if we call that, say, R equals that, okay, you probably recognize this, Okay, R, we can say R equals A squared plus B squared. That's the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Here's your angle. This is the side opposite, and this is the side adjacent. So we know that what tangent alpha is what opposite over adjacent, B over A. Look at this. The sine, well, I know I'm using theta here, but it's the same thing. Theta alpha, doesn't matter which angle you use. But look at this. The sine of the angle, what's sine? opposite over hypotenuse. You see that? Oop. Opposite over hypotenuse. And look at cosine. The cosine of this angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's all that is. Okay. So, you know, whichever your your teacher tells you to use, just use whichever one. Okay. But like I said, in these videos, I'll just use tangent alpha equals B over A. That to me that's the easiest one to do. And plus A and B are given to you. So there's you don't have a there's not a chance of, you know, in case you make a mistake calculating this, then your angle will be wrong also. So just use what's given to you there. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on the example. Alright, so here we have example one. Uh says use the reduction formula to rewrite this negative 3 sine x minus 3 cosine x in the form a sine x plus c. Okay, and that's the directions. And and just know that the a right here, that's the, uh, in the formula, that's this part, square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay, and then the c represents alpha. Okay. All right. So what we need to do first is we need to identify A and B. 
So we can see here that a is equal to negative 3. Remember a is the number in front of sine. So that's negative 3. b, that's the number in front of cosine. That's negative 3 also. So let's go ahead and find a. So a is the square root of a squared plus b squared. So that's going to be 9 plus 9, so that's the square root of 18, which is square root of 9 times 2, which is 3 square roots of 2. Okay, so there's a. That's the number in front of sine. And now we need c, or alpha. Okay, same thing. So, let's see. We've got tangent, and we'll go ahead and use C, because that's what they have in the directions. It doesn't matter what, what letter they use there. Okay, so remember, tangent of the angle is B over A. So that's B, which is negative 3, over A, which is negative 3. So I get tangent C is equal to 1. All right. Now... What we have to do here is we've got to take the inverse tangent, okay? But that may not necessarily be our answer. What we need to do first before we do this is we need to see what quadrant our angle's in. Well, if we plot A, B, well, A is negative 3, so I'm going to go to the left, negative 3, B is negative 3, so I'm going to go down negative 3. And we can see that our angle, C, is in the third quadrant. So what I need to do is I need to find my reference angle. And I'll call that C prime, represents my reference angle. Some books use different symbols, okay? Just use whatever symbol your book uses. Some, some will use a line over it to represent the reference angle. Some will use the hat, you know, just whatever. Uh, the, the book I use, it uses the prime here. All right, so let's get the reference angle. So C prime, our reference angle, well, the inverse tangent of positive 1 is 45 degrees, okay, so we know this is our reference angle. And so from that, I can go ahead and find C, so I get C is equal to, well, that's what? That's 180, and then i got to add 45, so that's 180 plus 45, which is 225. Okay, so there's C. So now I have negative 3 sine x minus 3 cosine x is equal to A, and in this case A is 3 square roots of 2, times the sine of x plus C, and that's 225 degrees. Now look, we could also do this as pi over 4 radians. Okay, 45 degrees is equal to pi over 4 radians. And so we would get C is equal to what? Pi plus pi over 4. And so that's going to be what? 5 pi over 4. And so we could also write this as 3 square roots of 2 times sine of x plus 5 pi over 4. So, you know, I don't know, your teacher might want you to put it in radians rather than degrees, or they may want you to put it in degrees. I don't know. But whichever you can do, you know, if they want it in radians, do all your angle measures in radians. If they want it in degrees, do all your angle measures in degrees. So I hope the video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other videos, and thanks for watching.